Yes, I, I think that the issue of nuclear proliferation is the gravest threat that the world faces, much more important even than climate change, than financial meltdown, than international terrorism, because we now have the uh, capability to destroy the world with nuclear weapons. And experience tends to suggest that if mankind can do something, sooner or later someone tries it out to see how far they can go. And I think it is absolutely essential to curb the threat of the spread of nuclear weapons. And so I was delighted when Obama said how he would like to see a nuclear free world. That is what I would like to see. Um, the countries with the greatest number and greatest weight of nuclear weapons are the United States and Russia. And when Obama said that, if his words had simply fallen into a pond without any ripples coming out of it, then he would have been pretty isolated and nothing would have come of it. And I think that the role of the United Kingdom and those who believe that we've got to put an end to nuclear proliferation has to be to provide some support, some diplomatic uh, backup, a recognition of the importance of this issue, and to encourage the United States and Russia, and hence by some sort of domino effect, other countries who have nuclear weapons, uh, to recognize the dangers that they pose and to see what we can do to reduce them and eventually eliminate them. It's going to be extraordinarily difficult. And uh, until you resolve some of the huge conflicts in the world between uh, the tensions between Pakistan and India, the threat that Israel feels from uh, surrounding countries, the desire that Iran feels to establish its dominance over its region, the concern that China has over Taiwan, that South Korea has over North Korea. Uh, all of these issues will take some time, a long time, to resolve. But I don't think that the world should go on on the basis that they will never be resolved. Those issues were not around in the 1930s and the 1940s and to assume that they will be around forever must be wrong and so I think we've got to try first to resolve those issues and in the meantime begin to reduce the nuclear weapons that the world holds. It may be a goal that we never manage to reach but merely going for that goal is going to produce such benefits across the world that I think it's the right thing to do. And I do hope that we do reach that goal because my own view is that if we don't, the world is in extraordinary danger and not that far off. In the 70s and 80s, I thought that uh, nuclear terrorism was a real issue. Um, but I wasn't concentrating on, on that uh, much. I was doing mostly other things. And I thought that uh, somebody would let off a nuclear bomb. That would be, that would be a really bad thing. Um, what I have realized since then is that if someone does let off a nuclear bomb, other people are likely to react. And because they've got no experience of how to react, to the setting off of a nuclear bomb, they are likely to make mistakes. Um, and it'll be from those mistakes of nuclear retaliation of some sort against whom we don't know or how it would work out, we don't know. But it would be those mistakes that would lead to such appalling catastrophes. Given the uh, strength of the concern that I feel about nuclear prol proliferation. Uh, I found the debate that we had in the United Kingdom 
about the renewal of Trident, an extremely difficult one. And my speech in that debate was later described as obviously the most agonized speech in the debate. And I think it was, um, because I found it a, an extraordinarily difficult conundrum to resolve in my own mind. I don't myself believe, though, that the renewal of Trident is going to affect one way or another countries that are going uh, for nuclear weapons. The, uh, the concern that uh, I feel about uh, South Africa, for example, which unilaterally disarmed in a nuclear sense and yet didn't trigger thereby other countries either withdrawing from the nuclear arms race or it didn't trigger other countries reducing their own stockpile. It, I think, had the effect that South Africa's voice became less uh, prominent in an essential debate. So provided the United Kingdom, uh, while renewing its Trident system, otherwise it would be, it would have to simply unilaterally disarm, provided the United Kingdom does also follow the path of reducing its warheads, and that is what we are doing, I think that that retains our voice in the debate uh, while moving in the right direction. I, I fear that if we were to disarm, uh, we would merely be treated by those countries that are trying to become nuclear armed states uh, with an increased contempt rather than a greater degree of moral standing. Life shouldn't be like that, but life is like that. And so uh, we have to deal with the world as it is.